seated, please. Aaron Obermeyer, Anthony Schneider, you have come together in the presence of these witnesses to be united in marriage. You are about to express your aspirations for the future and to assume mutual responsibilities and to pledge your faith and devotion to each other. The joy and the love that you feel right now will continue if you are sincere and honest in your relationship with each other. Will you take and Anthony, have a reading. be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you love, honor, trust, and serve him in sickness and in health? If so, answer, I will. Anthony and Aaron, you pledge to help each other to develop your hearts and minds, cultivating compassion, generosity, values, patience, enthusiasm, concentration, and wisdom as you age and undergo the various ups and downs of life and to tr transform them into the path of love, compassion, joy, and equanimity. Recognizing that the external conditions in life will not always be smooth and that internally your own minds and emotions will sometimes get stuck in negativity. Do you pledge to see all these circumstances as a challenge to help you grow, to open your hearts, to accept yourselves and each other, and to generate compassion for others who are suffering? Do you pledge to avoid becoming narrow, closed, or opinionated, and to help each other to see various sides of situations? Understanding that just as we are a mystery to ourselves, each other person is also a mystery to us. Do you pledge to seek to understand yourselves, each other, and all living beings, to examine your own minds continually, and to regard all the mysteries of life with curiosity and joy? Do you pledge to preserve and enrich your affection for each other, and to share it with all beings, to take the loving feelings you have for one another and your vision of each other's potential and inner beauty as an example and radiate this love outwards to all beings. Do you pledge to remember the disadvantages of ignorance, anger, to apply antidotes when these arise in your minds, and to remember the kindness of all other beings in your connection to them? Do you pledge to work for the welfare of others with all your compassion, wisdom, and skill? We do. do you pledge day to day to be patient with yourselves and others, knowing that changes come slowly and gradually, and to seek inspiration both spiritually and within each other? The wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two loyal hearts in partnerships. Anthony, do you have a ring to give to Aaron? Anthony, do you give this ring and pledge that you will keep these vows and perform these promises? If so, answer I do. I do. Go ahead and place the ring on a ring. Aaron, do you give this ring and pledge that you will keep these vows and perform these promises? If so, answer, I do. Go ahead and place the ring on his finger. All of us gathered here today hope that this is the beginning of many happy years together. May your commitment to each other be all that you are both capable of giving and receiving. Since you, Anthony, and you, Aaron, have consented together in matrimony, and have pledged your devotion to each other. By the authority vested in me as a judge for the state of Iowa, I therefore pronounce you husband and wife. Aaron, or Anthony, you may kiss Aaron.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great joy that I get to introduce for the first time uh, Anthony and Aaron, husband and wife.